Yer. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Swag back at it again with another. <laughs> this time, man, I got the best. I gave y'all the comp bills for the Pro Am centers, you know what I'm saying? The comp competitive bills. Now it's time to give y'all the bills for all my people that be playing heavy in the rec center. Obviously, a little bit more casual. A little, you'll make a, a casual build and, and a super comp build differently because um rec people do like to play differently and the way you play rec is different from playing prime especially for centers um so we're gonna go with a seven foot seven seven wingspan 265 this is gonna be a popping version i'm gonna show both a shooting version and an inside version both in this video for like for rec as you see the max wingspan is 70 uh is 78 and you can go 78 wingspan i just know like if you're in the rec you you, you want to hoop you're trying to get buckets it's like so I went, I just went with one under wingspan, even though 82 midi doesn't unlock a specific badge. I just figured higher midi, um, maybe you unlock a better jump shot. You just have a higher rating in general. Uh, post phase would be better and et cetera. So I went with the 82 midi. For stat, for finishing is gonna be typical of the big man, 90 standing, obviously you want your lead big man contacts. We are giving it post control. Cause like I said, you're, if, you're in, if you're going in the rec on center, obviously you wanna win. But a big a big factor is to go out there and have fun. You want to be able to score if you get the ball. You want to be able to like work out, drop step, post fade. So with that, we have the 90 standing. The 87 post control does unlock the gold badges. And then we also have the close shot as well, which gives you paint prodigy um, on silver. So like I said, you're setting screens or whether you get hit in the post, if you're just asking for the ball in the post, you'll be able to work out and get a bucket. Um, as we move to the pass sec, for competitive, you would want minimum gold or even preferably Hall of Fame or even legend. But like I said, this is a rec build. Um, yeah, you want to throw good breaks, but we're, we're, we're going to go with an 82. Uh, 82 does give you that gold dimer, obviously, which is nice. You only get silver break starter. Um, but like I said, rec isn't the super isn't the super comp setting where every like, you know, what I'm saying. So we did tend to focus more on like um, our defense, which you're going to see and our like offensive ability. But 82 pass like I think would be more than enough for the rec. Now this is what what is uh, gonna be really different from um, from prom centers and then rec rec builds. If you guys don't know, in competitive prom, in competitive prom, um, the center plate guards the corner. Like I mentioned before, if you guys watched my previous prom videos, the center in competitive prom and comp fives every time it's going to guard the corner. Obviously, sometimes swings down depending on rotations, but most of the time the center's in the corner. In rec, however, they usually just put their biggest man, which is the center in the paint, just have them down there, hands up, walling up. You know what I'm saying? They just they just hope for him to just wall up, get a stop, get the board, throw the break, um, stuff like that. So I feel like rec centers um, do need higher interior and block because they are they, they do tend to guard the paint more often. So with this build, man, we're going to go 88 block, which you're going to see does give us um, silver paint patroller and gold chase down. Now for the rebounding, we're going with 92 and 80. 92 old board gives you that gold rebound chaser. Uh, should be more than enough. I mean, you're already going to be down there. Just make sure you box your seven feet tall. Uh, you'll be able to get get some rebounds. Now for interior, again, um, you want high interior. You want high block. A lot of times, like I said, in rec, you are guarding the paint as the center. And a lot of the centers in rec are going to be like this build, in my opinion, where they do have post control. It's not the most competitive build. A lot of like the competitive center builds I've seen, um, even if it's an inside or a popper, they're not really giving it, giving those builds post control because in a competitive setting, your center isn't really going to be working out in the post. You see, it's either just going to be like strictly catch and shoot or like just trying to standing dunk. Um, I gave my pro amp center post control because I believe post control really is going to be effective, but a lot of comp centers are not going to have post control. But in for rec, um, I do believe a lot of rec center builds are going to have post control. So obviously you want the high interior, high blocks to be able to defend that. Uh, we go max speed that we can. Now for strength, you can go 91. Um, that does give you the gold box out, gold brick wall. Or we're going to go with a 95, man. Not only does that give you Hall of Fame brick wall, which which is going to help a lot with setting better screens. But like I said, it is going to help you offensively with your post work, backing, backing people down, getting those big bumps, post fading with the 82 mid range or just drop stepping and going up with the 90 standing dunk or post took with the 84. So you do have a deep bag when it comes to scoring. And like if you do get hit um, in the paint, you'll be able to you'll be able to get you a bucket. 
Um, for vertical, we are going with 80 vertical. That should help with the rebounding. You get gold pogo, um, gold rise up. And like I said, that gold high flying denier, which is kind of like chase down. So you are going to be protecting the paint really good on this build. And obviously in the wreck, you do shoot free throws in the wreck. So we are going to raise our free throw a little bit. Only the 70, nothing crazy, but we want to be able to knock down free throws on this build, especially if they're hacking you or like you're just a like you they can't stop you with the post control and stuff. So they resort to fouling. You'll still be able to knock it down. Now for steel, I always vouch. I always vouch that going past 60, even though you don't get a higher interceptor, um, is worth it. But like I said, this is for wrecked, it's for casual. So you just go to 60 to get the bronze interceptor. And they'll be happy with that a lot of the times you aren't really in position to get lane steals anyway like i said you're mostly in the paint just walling up waiting for someone to run into you and you hopefully get like a wall of contest or a block or something so you're not really going for lane steals like you would out the corner on a pro and build uh, but we still have 60 just in case with that bronze interceptor perimeter is going to be low again you're not going to really be guarding the perimeter and mostly going to be guarding the paint and then uh, with free throw if you want you can really max it out and go od free throw or if you feel like you want to upgrade your steel a little bit more up your perimeter a little more or if you see other 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 places where you can add this instead of free throw you can uh, but ending with a 88 free throw is not bad at all um you're really going to be knocked down and they really won't have a an answer for you because you can dominate in the paint with the post control post fades with the midi as you see in the clips uh the post fades are really good um close shots post control all that and then you still have the high free throw so even if they do hack you you're knocking it down a lot of the times like i said silver break starter isn't the best but you do have gold dimer and 82 should be enough to efficiently throw the break majority of the time 88 block like i said does give you that silver paint patroller and gold high flying denier should help a lot in protecting the paint and they're gonna see what we do with the inside version man the inside version is kind of crazy too uh, and then obviously the 95 stand for the hall of fame brick wall uh, let me let me know what you guys think about this popper version for a rec center build i'm not saying um to take this to the comp pro -am. um this is definitely not a comp pro -am build uh i don't think if you guys want comp pro -ams, i do have videos on that on my channel as well this is more for the casual rec player who wants to load up on center and kind of like protect the paint throw breaks you know throw dimes with gold dimer but just be like a bucket be able to shoot resort to post fades drop steps post spins mash in the paint like just be able to have fun on a center build so so yeah that's the popping version let's get straight to the inside rec center version all right so heading into the rec inside version we're gonna go same thing center seven foot 265 and this time we're gonna be max wingspan obviously if we're inside we don't need shooting so max wingspan the better first thing we're gonna do man like i was telling you guys about rec and how in, a, in, in rec center you really want to be able to defend the paint you don't have a lot of comp pgs coming on screens and quick stopping and working behind the screen and side side combo in three a lot of rec is going to be rim running cuts just just crazy ball just 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 running around and cutting and trying to contact dunk and dumping it down to the center hopefully he can score with a with a drop step if not they're calling four people to cut at the same time wreck is <laughs> wreck is just hectic ball right if you want to be able to protect the paint elite in the wreck what better way than to go with that 99 block which paired with the 89 interior does give you legend <laughs> legend paint patroller which is basically legend anchor you're gonna be a monster in the paint um like i said you can literally just be down there um a lot of the times like i said the guard isn't gonna be cooking they are gonna call a lot of stuff in the paint whether it's rim running throwing the slip cuts so you're just gonna be down there legend legend paint controller box and everything you still get the 94 rebound so you still only get gold rebound chaser but you do get when you max uh the strength you do get that hall of fame um box out beast which obviously is gonna make you even a bigger threat in the paint worming people getting the boards or securing box outs speed we're gonna max it out as much as we can which is only a 66 but that's not bad vertical we're gonna go to a 77 that unlocks specifically the gold pogo so that mix with the paint patroller on legend so gold po gold pogo legend paint patroller on legend you're just down there jumping 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 just just stopping everything that comes your way and then when it comes to the the finishing it's going to be similar to the popper um we want it like i said we want to be able to score and be a threat a lot of times you can just go down there ask for the ball and be like yo pg just hit me i'm gonna get a bucket real quick you know the rec center is supposed to be for fun 
um it's not really like do everything you have to do to win and center just stay corner or center just like you know what i'm saying like it's 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 for fun wreck is supposed to be for fun and i know a lot of you center builds want to want to go out there and get buckets and and have fun so we are still adding the post control like i said this isn't inside so no shooting or pass act again you only can afford to go 82 um 82 does it does give you that gold dimer what i would recommend what you can also do is if you feel like you don't need the gold dimer and only the silver break starter you can maybe even lower pass act to 75 to maybe get a little bit more free throw um because this like i said the block and everything was super expensive so you are missing out on steel and free throw um but for the casual man like i said for rec where they're all just running to the paint a lot of the times and scoring on cuts having that 99 block and legend paint patroller you're going to be getting snatch blocks i can imagine like you're just going to be denying everything in the paint it's going to be really tough to score um they're going to have to like be able to shoot consistent in order to beat you and in rec they're not really that that chicken from three um and it's no hate towards my rec people man i love I love all my rec people, but <laughs> but a lot of the times, like I said, it is it is working in the paint. Um, but like I said, man, uh, if you are lacking in the free throw, um, you only have 51 free throws. So if you see some stuff, you can lower to get more free throw, which I think uh, would I would recommend probably, like I said, that 75 pass act instead of 82. Uh, but this is just a template at the end of the day. I'm not really a rec. Uh, rec person i'm mostly going to be in the pro-am like the comp prime and the proving grounds and stuff like that so you guys can see this build and tweak it how you like um if you take and count the max badge uh plus one you can lower your block lower your interior a little bit only get hall of fame paint patroller and then use your plus one max badge perk to get legend paint patroller that way you can keep uh, more attributes maybe get 96 d board to get hall of fame rebound chaser like i said uh, raise your pass act if you want higher pass act raise your free throw so there's a lot of stuff you can do with the build um i did i did old deal with the block with the 99 block but like i said man uh that's gonna be like the biggest factor of you getting stops in the pain that's like the number one way to win in the wreck is to limit the um limit the the cuts and scoring in the pain so and then as regards to takeovers man you do get a lot of the big big man takeovers barbecue chicken helps in the post board beast helps with rebounding block party so there's a lot of different options you can choose from um it's pretty much there it's pretty much preference there's not really one that really stands out i do like the barbecue chicken one for all you post people that love working in the post and just having fun and getting a bucket uh the barbecue chicken one does seem like a lot of fun uh but as we back out or we finish the build we get will rudy and ivika zubac and we get defensive anchor so not a bad build name it definitely defines what you are defensive anchor is 100 percent what you're doing um but if you guys enjoy the rec center builds man like i said not competitive not for pro-am not for proving grounds if you're a sweat this build is not for you for all my casuals who want to go to the rec get a lot of stops get snatch blocks get contact big man contact dunks work in the post post fades you know what i'm saying it's not really about like getting the craziest lane steals out the corner or like you know what i'm saying so it, it's different it's, it's like a totally different game when comparing rec and prime so this is uh rec builds both inside and and poppers but if you guys enjoyed it man um drop that like button hit that sub button hit that like button and turn on notice man i still got more builds on the way i got hash locks um all around park builds like two-way do it all park builds to drop so and release day is almost around the corner i'm gonna be streaming on launch day whenever the game drops I'm streaming. I'm going to be playing uh, whether it's pro -am or playing grounds with like Joe and Black Mark in the squad. So y'all stay tuned for that. But until next time, man, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. God bless. Peace.